All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. The name of the video is uh, how to easily get yourself kicked out of the military. <laughs> Oh my God. In July 2023, a deputy on patrol heard over the radio that a Wisconsin state trooper was actively in a vehicle pursuit in Dunn County, Wisconsin. The trooper had tried to pull over a speeding vehicle on the interstate, but the driver fled. While positioned at a crossover, the deputy observed the suspect vehicle passing by. Upon activating his emergency lights, the suspect quickly accelerated, eventually reaching speeds of 134 miles per hour. Okay. Deputies later identified the driver as a 21-year-old male named Ira, who they soon learned was embarking on a significant road trip at the time. Eastbound. Passing the rest stop. Reason for stop: 86 miles an hour and 70. Vehicle's currently going 130 miles an hour. I'm going to stop. 86 to 70. Going 130. Just past the 44. Got up to the 41. Direction 45. Speeds 131. I still got eyes on the vehicle. Traffic is light. Fog is clear. We're slowing down here. As the pursuit continued, another deputy ahead attempted a moving roadblock in front of Ira. However, he veered onto the shoulder, narrowly avoiding a collision by mere inches. Try boxing. Nope. 1040 uh, they already just passed me. Is that a G63 um, um, G Wagon? AMG. <laughs> Good luck with that, man. Black and blue Mercedes. It's got North Dakota, North Dakota plates. What's your location, 28? Just went under the E bridge. One of those fancy V8 bi turbos. We are currently in the number one lane. The number one lane just passing the 48. The fog is about a quarter mile visibility. Traffic's light. Current speeds 116. The state trooper ahead then managed to deploy spike strips that successfully disabled Ira's vehicle. Okay, you cut off the two lines 116, 116. Affirmative. He just blew a tire. Set up for a felony stop. Driver, turn off your vehicle. This is the sheriff's department. You are under arrest. So he can the vehicle stop. Up to 51. Driver, turn off the vehicle. Show me your hands. Walk back slowly to the sound of my voice. Keep those hands up. I got covered. Keep walking backwards. Keep walking. Get over on your side if he doesn't have somebody. We'll call him back. Yeah, let's bring him between the cars. Keep walking. Keep walking backwards. No Stop. shoes on. Go down to your knees. Put on your hands pavement. behind your head. Do not move. Who else is in the vehicle? Just you? Uh, no, not at the moment. Pull him out of there. Bring him to the back of the first squad. Let's challenge again. I'll put him in mine. This one here. Oh, guys, Passenger in the detail. vehicle. Step out with your hands up. There's he no said, one. He said no. Shut the door, man. Passenger, step out of the vehicle with your hands up. 
This is the Dunn County Sheriff's Office. They got one detained. They're challenging the vehicle. Go on, hire it. Occupant, step out with your hands up. Do it now. Is there anyone in there? Yeah, you ready, Jake? You go first. Yep. I mean, I understand. Listen, guys, I understand the concept of being super safe right now, but uh, um, what if someone doesn't answer? Okay. I got you. But they don't know. You got right? traffic behind us? Yeah, they got it blocked. Okay. It's illegal exhaust. <laughs> Let's get the front first, and then we'll pop that side door. All right, front seats are clear. You get cover, I'll open door. Okay. Got it? Yep. I got it. Okay. I can't see the trunk area. Yep. While searching the vehicle, the deputy observed multiple ski masks, high-end clothing, and several thousand dollars in $100 bills. Okay. We got a bunch of high-end high -end clothing and then ski mask right there. I mean, I mean, bro's driving an AMG. This is G63, guys. He's, I mean, obviously, there's some money involved here. Um, unless he took the car, too. Right? He could have broken into someone's house, taken money, taken all the fancy clothes. But he is wearing no shoes currently. Uh, and it looks like he's driving, again, a G63 um, G-Wagon. Right there in the door. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's get a tow started for it. A couple of ski masks and... Bunch of high-end clothing. All the turt? Did we get a spike on this? No, he just popped it. Mm -hmm. Three of them? <clears throat> oh. Are three popped? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, we could probably open the eye up here. Yeah. I just didn't think I'd be able to get over the spikes. Yeah. <laughs> Doing 130, I'm like, hey, he's going to be on top of it. Yeah. Well, yeah, we pa I think right after you said that, we passed you. I want to pull him out real quick. I want to search him again. Ask him some questions. Talk about the right place, right time. Did you get spikes on him? Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wondering when you said he lost a tire. I'm like, did somebody stick him? Or? I know. I saw you sitting there was, with your back I mean, open. I couldn't tell, like, who's, who was who. Yeah. And he saw my like, car. Like, is, is he from this off. state? <laughs> <laughs> Where were your sticks at? Or where did you get him at? Somewhere there. Yeah, right, right across from the scale. Okay. okay. So I saw you sitting there with your trunk open, yeah. but I didn't see any spikes get pulled just, or anything. I, and was, I just started east and passed I know. him. And then I switched over to the guy's channel and he called 10 years ago. I was wondering if that might have been it when it, when it came by. But well, we I got if once he saw your headlights line up on him, he would have taken well, it. Well, I pulled up like right behind him, and initially we were doing like 80, and then he kind of just slowly crept up, and I was like, oh, this got to be him. So I flipped him and. He took yeah. off and yeah, because initially we heard it was a Jeep Wrangler and then a four door like Mercedes and like it looks like a Wrangler. It looks like a Wrangler. Gets up to a buck thirty. Yeah. No, yeah. If it is, you do one of these things. Hey, hey, hey! We're not gonna take any Jeep slender here. All right, but yeah, so Jeep wagon does occasionally look like a uh, uh, a Wrangler. I guess if you are not in the know, at least, right? But he's he's definitely disrespected. I only drive Jeeps. All right, but yes, am I hitting one thirty in my Jeeps? No. no. Gets up to a buck thirty. Yeah. No. Yeah. The death wobble. Disrespectful. <laughs> I didn't smell anything in the car right away, but there's a couple of ski masks in there and some high end uh, I saw clothing. Some high end stuff in the back I seat. Say, so. I wonder if you guys um, start searching the vehicle, you find something else. Well, we'll just take it. Yeah. Do we'll you think you're be talking at all? I have to talk to him right now. We haven't even talked to him yet. Okay. I'm Miranda. I see what we will give you. Yeah. Alrighty, sir. Do you have any idea or anything like that? Oh uh, yeah, in my uh, the driver's side left, uh, my wallet's there. Your wallet's in there? Yeah. Okay. Before we begin, I gotta advise you of your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. It was discovered that Iroh was traveling from Bismarck, North Dakota, and was an active duty Marine stationed at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, roughly a 29 hour drive. Okay. At any time, and ask for a lawyer. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Are you Bro. This may, hold on, no, there's no way. There's something fishy going on here, okay? A 21-year-old Marine driving a G63 AMG G-Wagon, bro. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, I, yeah, I, don't, I don't like this story. I need to know more. Do to answer questions? Yes. Okay. Where are you coming from? Uh, Bismarck. Bismarck? Why'd you run? Um, I don't know if you guys saw in my wallet or not, or my... You see my body bag back there in the trunk. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a Marine, active duty. I was trying to get How back to uh, Camp Lejeune. Okay. I'm coming, uh, coming home or coming back off of leave. 
And I was just trying to get there. I have a, an appointment on Monday to get my wisdom teeth taken out. And I was just trying to get back as soon as possible. And you thought from the running from the cops I was going to get you back there sooner? No. No? No. Okay. So why did you do it? So then, man, I get being active duty and all. But that's kind of a piss poor decision, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, had anything to drink tonight at all? No. Nothing? No, I'm sober. Okay. Smoke any weed or anything like that? Nothing. Nothing at all? Okay. What's up with all like the high-end clothing and stuff like that in the back of the car? Oh, the, uh, the suits? There's suits, like shoes. Oh, some I'm, a, I'm a sneaker collector. Oh, yeah? And then the suits, I just... Sometimes I'll play dress up. Okay. And what's the deal with the ski masks that are back there, too? The ski masks are for pictures. For pictures? Yeah, I have a bunch of uh, prop money back home. Okay. And uh, me and my boys just take pictures like that. Who's your commanding officer? Um, Right now, I'm not sure. Because I'm, uh, I'm fapped out. So it's like a temporary uh, like IR? job away from my job. Okay. So I'm not really sure who I go through there. Okay. All righty. Well, where'd you say your ID was? Uh, in the uh, left. Driver's side. You got it? The driver okay. door. All right. All right, so his story definitely uh, slightly checks out weirdly. Uh, a sneaker collector? There's a lot of money in that, bro. There's a lot of money. But again, if you're making that type of money, why are you going? I don't know, bro. Driving a G-Wagon? I don't, I, don't, I don't know, bro. There's a lot of money, right? But... Something still feels weird. All right, sounds good. Is there anything in that vehicle Slightly that out. we need to be concerned about at no. all? Nothing at all? I, mean, I have a knife in the, uh, in the middle compartment, but that's it. That's it? Yeah. Sounds good. Well, just hang out here. We're not going anywhere for a while, so. This Marine idea, I guess, is in. Yeah, Supreme Wallet. Okay. There or something. They said there was something about being a Marine in there. Uh, yeah. See ya. You want anything else to him right now before you get scooped with him to the door? You guys want to switch cops at some point? Yeah, we can switch cops. Just an active duty Marine trying to get back to Camp Lejeune. Do you have his 27? Do you wagon? Yeah. A pile of cash and watches. And you see? That's what I said. I'm going to run over. don't get paid that much. Well, you, so I'm not the only one, right? I'm like, you know, that's a little weird. He obviously has a, a hustle outside of the, the military. That's it. That's the reality. He obviously has some type of hustle that's actually making him uh, copious amounts of money. Bro, you just don't drive a G-Wagon like that. Right? That's norm that's that's almost almost always exclusively rich soccer mom or hmm tax write-off right for uh, some type of corporation unless his family comes from money and they needed to write a quick two hundred thousand dollars off on their taxes uh why else would you want to own something like that personally i mean yeah it's fast it's really fast like imagine 200 miles an hour on a, on a suv yeah well he didn't have a name tag on his marine corps uniform either which well i asked him who his commanding officer was and he couldn't tell me and then, and then made up a story of how he's in a process of being a different job. Joe was in the army for a long time. Well, you were too, I guess. Does the ID look legit? I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure uniforms they keep a, a name tag on them, just like we do. I was in the army. It looks pretty legit. It looks like mine. Yeah. Thank you. Looks legit. Okay. Yeah, I'd say so. If not, I bet you that's fake. It's pretty good. You could really make his day. Calls next to next to chain command. Well, you couldn't even tell me who that was. I didn't figure that a Grand Cherokee Laredo with a bicycle on the back was maybe going 100 and some miles an hour. <laughs> so then when you saw yeah, this, I'm like, went by, I'm like, no. <laughs> I knew I was like in the right area at the right time for him to be coming back to like any minute. And then that went past. And I was like, tire on the back. I was like, ah, that's. That's got to be right there, so. Did he say anything to you? Yeah, he admitted to running because he wanted to get back to uh, Camp Lejeune because he was... Uh, Is it Camp Lejeune, yeah. like, East Coast? Yeah, he said he's coming from North Dakota and he's going back home from leave or something. But so, no, weren't you here? I was going to say, yeah. I said, and you thought running from the cops was going to get you there quicker? No, that was he's purely like, silly. Well, no. Well, if he's still in, he's going to get kicked out now because he's got felonies. No. 
that would be a five. Kind of seems like there's going to be a gun in here somewhere, but that's. I asked him if there's anything in here that we need to be concerned about, and he said the only thing was a, a knife in their center console. A knife and a baton and uh, OC spray. Sweet. Oh, Good work, guys. Yep. You too, man. Thanks for you guys' help. Gotcha. I'm gonna roll with him to jail. And what do you need for me? Just four charges for fleeing? Or? Yeah, you can forward your charges from. I do yours through St. Croix, and I'm doing and mine through Dunn County. Yeah, he bounced on the shoulder for me to pass vehicles, so. Oh, not just that, but he passed, what, that one car. Was it foggy over there? His construction zone. Okay, so yeah. that's, I mean, that's sure. pretty much a huge reckless right there. It's foggy, it's... Doing a buck, th buck 36. In yeah. so. a construction zone? Well, I don't know, he was no, in a construction for, for you? I don't know. Yeah. He also has my handcuffs still. All right, let's go. I'll swap him out, your handcuffs out with him real quick, and then uh, I'm going to hit the road. All right, yeah, I got your wallet and your phone from your car there, and then the keys are, it's going to get towed, so the keys are going to go back with your property once it gets towed, okay? But we're going to swap you out of cuffs, so you're going to go in my handcuffs, and the trooper's going to get his back, so why don't you step on out? And face away from me. Take a step forward into the door. Yeah. What's your MOS? I'm a radio operator. All right, go ahead and have a seat. Sit back, turn your head to the left. Alrighty. Thank you. Due to the smell of marijuana emanating from his vehicle, deputies initially suspected impairment, but later found no signs of it. Furthermore, <laughs> he voluntarily took a preliminary breath test at the jail, which showed a reading of zero. So in other words, Ira's decision that night could only be described as a shining example of remarkable unintelligence. Right. Charges? Ira was charged with felony counts of vehicle fleeing eluding an officer okay, times that's two, sticking. and that's first sticking. degree recklessly endangering safety. Uh, he also received sticking. over $1,400 in traffic citation. I think he can afford it. Two days later, he was released on a $10,000 cash bond. I figured that. Yeah, like, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I, I, I've I've never encountered anyone, like, you know, low-level, like, military, like, super young that can afford something like like this, right? Now, don't get me wrong. Um, it makes all the sense in the world. If he's, like, a sneakerhead and he's trading, buying and selling and trading sneakers, oh, my God, there's a lot of money in that, bro. Um, and if that's the case, then that's the reason why he's able to afford all the things that he's been able to afford. Right, because I mean, a car note on that on that vehicle is going to be somewhere around like eighteen to depending on the year, right? If you get it brand new, um, probably eighteen, nineteen, um, to like maybe twenty three hundred dollars a month, bro. Um, I'm not sure. Just any random twenty one year old marine is going to be able to afford something like that. So of course there has to be some outside um, money happening here, guys. Maybe he comes from a moneyed family. That could be another thing too, guys, right? But all right, guys, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.